Elton Moore, Professor of uh, Social Oncology. I'm from uh, I'm a social professor of medicine. Can you tell me what the gist of your research showed? We were uh, examining patients that underwent uh, treatment for kidney cancer. We wanted to determine the incidence of uh, adverse outcomes with uh, treatment of their kidney cancer. In particular, uh, the event of uh, chronic kidney disease and the associated adverse uh, events with chronic kidney disease. And what, was the, what, what did you find that was important for patients to know? In this study, we found that between 2002 and 2007, that approximately 80% of patients underwent a radical nephrectomy and about 20% underwent a partial nephrectomy in a time interval when up to 70% of the kidneys, uh, being, or kidney cancers being diagnosed were early stage so cancers. Anything, no, With this, uh, Dr. Brom can uh, highlight the other things we found. So, well, the most important finding for patients is that uh, if you can, you should undergo uh, just a partial removal of your kidney for a cancer because yeah, the kidney function can go down so far that you can get into trouble and, and may even may need dialysis. About 10% of the people that were in that study ended up on dialysis. So essentially their cancer was removed, but they had quite big consequences of the, the, the removal of that cancer. So yeah, we, the, the most important finding for patients is that the, if they can undergo a partial nephrectomy, uh, that uh, would be best for their kidney function. And will you be taking this research any further? Well, we're interested in, in chronic kidney disease and how to prevent that. Um, we're, we're hopeful that we get this message out to the rest of uh, Canada and, and the world, and that's why we published our results. Um, but our next step really is to look at other causes of uh, you know, chronic kidney disease and its impact in the management of other urological and nephrology diseases. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, there's one thing I'd like to add, a little bit more agrees with that, is that uh, in people that are very old, there's a, 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 a given this research, a strong consideration just to follow that cancer that is in the kidney and not, not just to remove kidney tissue at all because of the surgical risk and indeed also the risk of developing a kidney disease. Sometimes the tumors just sit there and if you follow, we have a nice methodology to follow the uh, tumors and yeah, that you might be better off living with the cancer than uh, undergoing surgery and, and having kidney disease. Well, and I would totally agree with that. Our data would suggest that people after uh, 79 to 80 years of age, uh, if they have this early stage kidney cancer, do not benefit from uh, treatment of that. In fact, the uh, outcomes are adverse. Thank you.